Hello guys, in this series we will learn how to create games using ZW platform. In this series we will learn step by steps how to create games from scratch and how to earn money using all these games. So in the first video we will learn some basics of ZW. To use this platform you don't need to learn any programming language. This platform uses the block coding concept. It means we just need to think the logic. We just need to focus on the logic part and we can do just drag and drop things. Like we just need to, if you want to move your character, so you, you just need to think like how we can move it and uh, what character I have to move. It's a basic coding. It's not a coding actually. It's just a, a blueprint type of thing. So I will show you everything step by step. So that's our first video. So let me show you. So first you need to open the ZDevlop dash app.com that's website and you need to download that software you can use that try it online also but i will prefer download option so click on download and you can download according to like windows mac os and linux or you can use it online so let me just try mac os and after downloading this install this software so after installing the software you can see here this one view that let me just open zdevlop this one zdevlop5 so that's the first screen of zdevlop and you can see three options getting started and tutorials create a new project and open a project we need to click on create a new project and you can see there are a lot of things and we will learn everything in this series but first we will use your empty game this one all these games are predefined so you just need to open this modify it and use it but in this series we will learn everything so first we will learn from the scratch so we just need to choose your empty game this one and in the left side you will find the project menu and you can see the game setting scene external event external layout and function and behavior so we just need to click on click to add scene option just click on this and you can see the new scene and double click on that and you will get here that scene it means that's your game screen cool now that's my game screen you can zoom out and zoom in so we just need to click on control uh, minus or control plus like this to zoom it or zoom in like this you can do that using your command minus and command plus or control minus or control plus now that's the overall screen of that CW block and that's a screen here in the left side you will get the project properties of your object and in the right side you will get the object so whenever you add new objects you will get all objects here and you can see in the start page in the first tab that is the start page that's the new scene it means our game for the screen and the new scene event it means we have to turn our coding or the block part here so we will go to the new scene option and that's the design now we need to add some objects cool so how we can do that so in the right side you can see here add new object so click on that and you will get a lot of object so if you already have some objects in your laptop or computer so you can choose new object from scratch and you can choose uh, any options here and then you can select the your own character but first of all we will use all these assets so for that we just need to search here click on search option and just search your background and you can see here there are a lot of backgrounds things here so i'm going to choose your this one for this background so click on this or grass and green so let me just try this one grass and click on add to game and that close it and you can see that is the object here click on this and you just need to drag and drop this object here like this now we just need to make it like uh, this to make it like bigger like this or you can define your size from here also you can see the width and height you can directly define if you just want to define the height so you can just say 500 like this or you can define the width also like 700 like this so i'm going to define all this height from here so just stretch like this cool so that's my screen here and you can see here that's my the boundary of my game screen so you just need to click on that play button you can see in the top launch a preview of your scene or game so click on that and you can see that's the uh, game screen for the screen let me just click on that scan button and let me just cross this now we need to use some character here so for that we need to add more objects so for that just click on the add new object again 
and let me just search here click on characters and find some characters so remove that background search and you can see there are a lot of characters so let me just try some characters so i'm going to try that one adventure girl so click on that adventure girl and wait some seconds and we need to click on the add to game option click on this so after adding that character click on that close button and you can see the adventure girl is here so just drag and drop that here object so we can see that is the object here we just need to here cool let me just make it uh, larger like this now that's the character here let me just click on that play button let's see how it's work and uh, how it's look oh it's that see that is like uh, how it's work but what i need to do i need to do something here so whenever whenever i just play this game so what will happen here just click on that and uh, again play see like this so it's uh, that is the animation actually so we have to change the animation whenever we start our game so how we can do that so just make it go to the events option now here we need to add the events events means conditions so it's such a simple coding uh, it's not a coding actually but it's a simple basic thing that we need to do like you can see the add new events see so we just need to click on add new events and add condition click on that add condition option and you can see the other condition click on that and just search here that uh, the beginning of app just type it app and you can see the at the beginning of the scene it means whenever we open our screen so what will happen click on that and okay so we can see the at the beginning of scene what we need to do so we need to define an action click on that action so action adventure goal just select this adventure goal and we will set that animation so let me show you one thing here first click on cancel click on go to the new scene and just right click on that adventure goal option add it object and you will get here animation 0 1 0 is dead ideal zoom there are a lot of animations just let me just try run and preview this see the animation look like this run so we have to define all these uh, all these animation so we will define here the ideal or slide so run this one and so what i will define in the initial ideal so ideal so just apply this and go to the new events and at the action adventure girl the animation animation change the animation by name select this and we will define that automatically this will fetch all these animations so we will fetch that one ideal and then we just need to ok and then now click on that play button again that the girl the animation is like ideal right so we will do a lot of things like we have to run this girl we have to use a jump animation we will do a lot of things in this game and we will learn a step by a step everything about zeta block we will learn about how we can earn money using all these games so in the next uh, part we will learn more about zeta block so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye <laughs>